on this documents case, it is important to know that these prosecutors who are actually you know doing their work um, are being threatened. Uh, because hey, the likes of you know um, Taranto, who we talked about earlier, are still out there, and folks who are following and retruthing Donald Trump, rebleeding him. Um, but the individual prosecutors involved in this documents case are against the former president are facing substantial harassment and threats online and elsewhere, according to extremism experts and a government official familiar with the matter. Experts say they frequently observe violent rhetoric targeting people who are blamed for undermining the former president, not just prosecutors involved in the criminal investigation surrounding Trump, but also swing state election workers refuting false claims of voter fraud. Indeed, far right Trump supporters are posing, posting the names of prosecutors and government workers online, yelling them and yelling them at demonstrations, threatening them and sometimes revealing details about their personal lives. But at least they know more about government and how it works. Right, Brett? You got to find you know your niche somewhere. Like, you know, some of us learn it in like civics class, others get radicalized and then get excited about different DOJ officials because we want to harm them. What? Like it's just it's this is the thing though. These are the low level folks who don't have, you know, secret service like Barack Obama does that that, you know, were the reasons that this guy Toronto got, even got a, a arrest in the first place in terms of um, you know, the Jan Sixer. These are people, they don't have private security. I mean, you saw like Representative AOC already say, you know, we would need more security. And that doesn't seem like it's changed in the wake now, two and a half years since January 6th, since Trump supporters actually acted on their violence. Um, so in this time of extreme like political violence, my I, I don't know how to like, I, again, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills when the right consistently says this is the same thing. BLM is the same thing as Gen 6. In fact, Antifa did Gen 6 and they were all actors. And it just like goes on and on and on. And then we have centrist bureaucrats who are afraid to look partisan to actually take these threats to their own people, afraid to take them seriously. We have online, like you know, looking at disinformation campaigns. The Biden administration creates an entire, like you know, bureau uh, to study disinformation that gets dismantled immediately because Fox News and Newsmax and all the other psychos, like, were mad that Taylor Lorenz was on. You know what I mean? Like, they just backtrack and backtrack and back themselves into their own corner here. This is where I just have to like have faith in humanity. At large, and That's that cute. faith, I know, it, I'm not saying <laughs> I have it, I'm saying I have to have it. Right. Like I have to have faith and and I something that helps with that is definitely like Biden beat Trump before this happened. And after this happened, people don't like Trump. Now, Biden's trying really hard to lose that advantage in the wake of it. And Isn't he though? In the thing that kind of like hurts your your liver and it gets punches to your liver and then you have to drink, which ruins your liver even more. All these body shots are like Trump is still leading among Republicans. Um, then you just have to have faith. I have to have faith in the system that it's set up so that if a, a psychopath wins the party nomination, then they won't win the general election. Right. And the the sad thing about that is, if the other side's party apparatus, you know, that each side has their own apparatuses and they yield a candidate, you just want to make sure that the party apparatus of the opposition to that is is actually doing good work and getting the right electable person there. What's so sad to me is when you look at like the main like you know foundations, the main elements of our of our government. It's just like they are putting Donald Trump. Up there and Joe Biden up there. Yep. Yep. Like, there's so many more talented people, and this should be merit based, right? Right now, it is not <laughs> merit based. Right now, it is absolutely like pecking order hierarchy based mm -hmm. um, within the Democratic Party. The fact is, and I'm this is not an endorsement of anyone's policies, but you have a much more talented, uh, charismatic candidate in Gavin Newsom than you have in anyone else in the party right now within that category of like generic American looks at him and goes, I'd vote for that guy. Yeah. And they won't, and that's not happening. I know, I, I agree, I have so Trump's many problems with Newsom, but I totally 100% agree. Like he is, he will become us anyway, we could, we'll talk about Newsom. Yeah.
a bonus when when Brett comes on the habituation room, we do a whole thing on Newsom. Um, you know, and that photo of him and Gilfoyle on the carpet. Rare. <laughs> <laughs>